Hello Libra, this is Renee and welcome to my channel. We're going to do something a little different today for this love reading. We're going to take a look at your energy and we're going to take a look at your person's energy. We're also going to take a look at where this situation is going and we're going to look into the hidden feelings that this person has for you or that you have for them. So, let's get into this, Libra. What is Libra's current energy for the situation? What is Libra's current energy for the situation? How does Libra feel about this person? We have a gratitude rampage. List 10 things that you're thankful for. So I feel like you're thankful that this person is in your life. You're thankful this person is on your side. So maybe it's a good thing to make a list and write down the 10 things that you're grateful for about this person, about how they make you feel or what they do for you. Make a list on one side for the things that you're grateful for. And on the other side, make a list of the things that you would like to change. We also have faith. So you have faith that this interaction is going to go further. You have faith that this person, this situation is going to grow. Okay, let's take a look at your person. What energies does your person have? Let's take a look at your person. We have your soul whispers love. Your ego shouts fear. So this person may be kind of fearful of where the situation is going to go. Um, this may be someplace they've never been before. In love. You know, it's a very beautiful card, though, because their soul whispers love. Their ego shouts fear. So this person, they may say one thing, but they may feel a totally different thing. You know, I feel like they may not speak exactly how they feel. You know, they may be holding back because of the fears that their ego is showing them. They may be holding back a bit. Give me another card for how they feel about the situation, spirit. Perseverance. Okay. They feel like they're not sure how to feel about the situation, but they're going to stick in there. They're not going to let go. They're going to keep pushing on. So that's beautiful energy, Libra. This person really cares and they really want to do the work. They really want to put themselves out there and see where this connection is really going. Let's take a look at the tarot. Let's take a look at the tarot for your side, Libra. The magician. So you really want to create something that's going to be lasting and grow in the situation. You want to create something that is magical. You know, I feel like you're taking inspired action to make the situation grow and prosper. You're being very resourceful. Oh, when you have the Two of Cups. Oh my goodness, Libra. So you really have very, very deep feelings for this person. Now for their feelings, I'm going to use another deck. I'm not going to use the same deck. Okay. Spirit. Oh. Okay. Well, this person, this person was heartbroken. This person may be fighting off those feelings that may have came from the past. 
So this person has been hurt before. So that's the reason why they're holding back. That's the reason why they're not sure of the situation. Yeah, and you had the, the Nine of Swords. This person is very fearful of where this is going. They're not sure if it's real or if they can fully trust the situation. We have Three of Swords and Nine of Swords for this person's energy in this situation. And I feel like you are all in. And this person is hesitating. They're like, you know, I don't want to go through pain again. I don't want to go through heartbreak. Um, but I feel like they, they care very deeply. Their soul wants to shout out that they love you. But their ego wants to hold back because they've been through this heartbreak. So that's what's bringing the doubts, the fear, the worry, the anxiety. Uh, that may make them touchy at times, you know. Um, but I feel like they, they're pushing on. They're trying to fight through those feelings because I feel like that person really cares about you. Let's get one more card since two cards want to come out at first. Give me another card for this person's spirit. The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, so this person is really working through these feelings. They're working through these feelings. They want something special. They want something lasting, something growing. Um, yeah, they have the Five of Wands at the bottom. So this person is very challenged with this situation. Like I said, I feel like this person has been through a lot of heartbreak, a, a lot of heartache. And so they're having a hard time trusting. They want to be the best for you. They want to, you know, work through this energy. So with this Eight of Pentacles, you know, they're really trying to get past this anxiety, to get past this heartbreak. This may be a past situation that's still coming through, um, but they're working. They're working very hard to get past these feelings. But Libra, I feel like you're all in. You're all in, ready to create, ready to be focused on just this person. And, and I feel like this person wants to, and they're trying very hard. But it's really work for them because they're trying to get past these feelings. Let's see where this connection is going. Spirit, give me a message for where this connection is going. Okay, Six of Pentacles. Balance. I like that. I like that. Because I feel like in this situation, this is mostly on your side, the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like you're giving this person time. You're giving this person the time that they need to heal and kind of grow into this situation. Um, and I feel like this person is, is accepting, very accepting for um, the love that you're giving. Let's see, give me another card, Spirit. The Knight of Wands. So you bring out a, a great passion in this person. This person feels alive when they're with you. They feel like very passionate, very fiery. They really enjoy being around you. They really enjoy your interactions. And they may be very passionate, very, um, they may be very sexual. Yes, definitely. But I feel like, you know, this person feels like they're free around you. They're just working through those inner feelings to try to get past what they've been through. Tell me more about this connection, Spirit. The Queen of Swords. Yeah, so I feel like you know. Sorry, my cat is playing with the grocery bag. 
yeah, I feel like you know. Um, I feel like your thoughts, your feelings, you're open to the way this person feels, even if they hide it, you know, even if they kind of keep it under, um, underneath. I feel like you kind of get a sense that this person is going through something and you want to heal them. You want to be supportive of them. Um, you want them to be honest with you about everything. Because I feel like that's the kind of person that you are. You're, you're very open and honest. And I feel like you're very easy to love, Libra. Very easy to love. Okay, and they still have the Three of Swords, so they're still very fearful. They feel like, they feel like this situation may lead in the same direction as another relationship that they got out of. So with the two, you, this person has two Three of Hearts, uh, Three of Swords in their, in their reading. So they're still, very fearful, although they're very passionate. I feel like this person feels very deeply a fire. Um, this person also may be very lusty, you know, um, and I feel like open them, opening themselves up is creating a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety. Give me another card. For Libra. Oh, that's too many. <clears throat> the Eight of Wands. So I feel like once you know the truth, you're going to take action. But you want open communication with this person. You want the lines of communication to be honest, open. Because I feel like you care very deeply Libra you care very deeply tell me about this person tell me about this person spirit the three of four the wheel of fortune yeah so this person really wants to change they really want to change their outlook they want to change their thinking um, they may have a turning point to where they're working, you know, they're working past this heartbreak, but in the back of their mind, they still have this heartbreak on their mind. They haven't been able to let that go yet. They haven't been able to let go of the fear and anxiety and worry that this situation may change at any moment. Um, but this person wants to change that thinking. They want to be more available for you. They want to change the thinking, change how they feel about things. They want to change their outlook. Okay, let's see. Let's get some passion cards. For you, we have love unconditional love self-love oneness passion affection and attraction for them we have self-indulgence focus on self self-worth time to heal shadow work and self-appreciation yeah, I feel like they're focused on healing. They're focused on moving past the situation. Um, they may have had a very hard time with it. Okay, let's get some cards. What's going on with this person's spirit? What is, what is the, what do they want to say? What are they, what's going on with this person? This is over. Hmm.
I feel like they're waiting for it to be over. I was testing you. And I want to be your lover. Yeah, okay. And I feel like this person, whatever situation that they were in before, this person is still holding on to those feelings. And they're seeing, they're waiting to see if you're going to be the exact same way as the person that broke their heart. They're testing you to see if you're going to hurt them the same way the other person did, if you're going to leave them behind, if you're going to make them feel inadequate. So they're, they're in this process of testing you, Libra, which I really don't think is fair, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but this person wants to be your lover. I want to be your lover. They want to be with you, but they feel like they need to test you because of something that happened in their past. This fear, anxiety, this, these issues that they have. They're, they're working on themselves, but they're, they're like doing the shadow work. Um, they're like working behind the scenes, kind of, so you don't see their pain. Very interesting. We're going to get some love cards too. Let's see. For you, we have surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and it will work. And all will work out. Yeah, I feel like that's theirs. Uh, sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship. For it's truly sacred. Yeah, that's yours. Through each other, you find missing pieces. Exactly. I feel like the healing will come with when both of you come together and put your hearts together in the situation. I feel like they're having a hard time trusting. They're having a hard time fully opening up. But... I feel like once they're able to truly open up their feelings and, and communicate the situation, it's going to be an embrace. You know, through each other, you will find missing pieces. And Libra, I feel like you are this person's missing piece. They really want to be with you, but they're like holding themselves back. They're, they're really caught in the situation to where they really don't want to feel this heartbreak again. This person has been through a lot. Um, and they're having a hard time trusting. But your soul whispers love. Your ego shouts fear. You know, they, they care about you. They want to be with you. They're pushing through. They're doing the, the work kind of behind the scenes. You may not even see exactly what this person does to move through these feelings because I feel like they're they're kind of trying to hide them from you, but their actions might make it very apparent that sometimes they're like pushing you away, like they don't feel the same way you do, or maybe sometimes they get into the situation where they... Um, what kind of argue, pick a fight, you know, to see how you're going to react to the situation, to see if you're going to let them go or if you're going to uh, let them stay. You know, I feel like this person is testing you a lot. They're putting you through a lot of emotions to see your reaction on certain events. So I, f I feel like that's why you really want to feel balanced. You really want to hear the honest truth, and you want open communication, Libra. So I, I, I feel like this is going to be a journey that's going to kind of take you to every single resource that you have if you care and want to stick it out with this person, because I feel like you're going to have to 
be very focused because I feel like with this person testing you, sometimes they may be a little sneaky and sometimes they may do things that may not, that you are very doubtful about, you know, because they're like putting you through these endless tests. Very interesting. Okay, we're going to take an outcome. I'm, I'm going to use another deck. And we're going to take a look at an outcome real quick. Spirit, give me an outcome for this relationship. Two cards, please. An outcome. The Seven of Swords on your side. And the Page of Pentacles on their side. Okay, so I feel like it's going to come to the point where you're going to feel like walking away, Libra, because you feel like this per this relationship isn't going anywhere. This relationship, you're tired of going through these tests. You're tired of, you know, them <coughs> not working through these situations. And I feel like when you feel like walking away, when you're at your end point, that's when this person is going to finally open up and tell you exactly how they feel. They're going to finally communicate everything that they've been wanting to communicate when they feel like they're going to lose you. Very interesting. All right. Libra, that is what I have for you. If this message resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so you don't miss any uploads. And let me know if you like the spread. Let me know if it's something that you're interested in seeing again. Um, tell me what you think about it. And many blessings to you. Until the next time, love and light.